the way you guys swallow Eba in this house, you do it as if your lives depend on it. Temper mercy. Rejoicing. Thank God, suppose to understand women. Some women, they get wish. Not my fault, you don't like what I cook, AY. I'll never marry you. <laughs> will you marry me? Sure, of course you will. I will. Oh. <laughs> so you think you can cheat on me with Mercy Johnson? And I'm not going to find out. Mercy Johnson is full option factory fitted four wheel drive. The crazy. Welcome to the creep. We have time for last forever with AY. Episode 10, scene 4. Oh, Episode 5, scene 7. Episode 5, scene 5. Need just four major casts. Four, nothing more. Well, a wise creep. What can I say? Way back, I think, like uh, like three, four years ago, I've always thought of doing a sitcom, and. I knew it was going to be difficult, I knew it was going to be tasking, knowing fully well that I have a steady job, I call it steady job, I'm a stand-up comedian, I do make people laugh for a living, so I was already thinking, I mean, how do you want to combine all of this put together? And um, I would say what actually prompted me was when I saw Martin by Martin Lawrence, and everybody is Chris, and I was like, come on, can't we just have you know, a proper sitcom in Nigeria. And uh, that was what gave birth to the idea. And I started working on it, I started doing the scripting myself, and I started creating the different characters. And I just made a primary decision, why don't you just build a story around you as a brand? So it's AY, the bachelor, this AY, yeah, you know, does not have his own ring on. That's my character. My guys, I'm not being like Beryl. I don't know what you're not taking me for. I'll be worried for you. See, I go shoot Mimi. Eh? I have the power to bend, to fold, and I will just. See, eh? I love Mimi with so much power. Aww. And that's. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, baby, you love me with power? Yeah, I love Mimi with so much power. Um, <laughs> myself and the boys uh, we were discussing uh, uh, the power of love <laughs> and the power of a woman. Well, for now we can all focus on the power of a house girl. Um, Mimi is AY's girlfriend in the crib. She's um, trendy, fashionable. You know the, um, the it girl. She was. She comes from a rich family. Um, so she's very spoilt, but Mimi is a lot to deal with. Probably to some people a nightmare girlfriend, but she very much cares about her boyfriend AY. Um, but she has very, very poor tolerance levels for anything that is not her way at all. So yes, Mimi is is very well, She's very feisty. <laughs> Yes, oh, I love this part of the game. Yes, so. Hey, why? Uh, how are you? How are you doing? JJ? Casey? Mm. Baby, what's up? Honey, can I see you for one minute, please, in the room? Uh, yeah. Want to see me? 
After you. After you. That's true now, my girl. Uh, my bunk. Start to the mother. Me, me. Me. <laughs> bon. I handle her. You? Yeah. Hey, yeah, I have to call, eh? Alright. Ah. He's dead. Me prefer. He's dead. Guess it. Hmm? Where me? me. Alright, my car guy is done. He's a local boy from the famous town called Wari and then. Um, not that local. Most of you see me wearing blink blink, like shiny necklace and um wearing some cute clothes uh, is because I'm not just a gay man. Um, AY's distant cousin brought all the way from Worry to come enjoy city life and he's always coming in either he's not at his position trying to blend with the guys in the living room trying to measure with the guys that are jobless and all that but cool dude like at the talk pigeon steady like you know. Osh sir What's your business in the kitchen? Now do you what do you what I want the what I the soak sauce? Fast I want water. Joko, do not allow this boy to deceive you. Bros, which level na? Is it me? I will come be myself low. Say I call the date or the befriend ass girl. Ah, for my business now. Now all the messy Johnsons. The tontos decay, and the river nelsons. Now they're not my day for. It's the my friend, this guy. Girl, get hips for everywhere. I prefer to friend from Kadi Gilly than Jennifer. I won't make sense die now. I'll be a local now. Who will even grieve for you? You have not my class. <laughs> my character in the sitcom. I play Casey. Casey is. <laughs> An intelligent, first class certificate holder without a job, like they always call me in the sitcom, unemployed. And Casey has a serious problem with the government. I blame the government. Uh, yes, this has nothing to do with the government at all. Uh, is it the government that took him to the hospital to go and donate his heart and blood? And uh, tell me now. So what are you now insinuating? Whether we like it or not, our government should always take care of our healthcare facilities. Casey, no, I beg to differ. Jo, uh, I'm, I'm begging for it. What are you doing? The government stop this. No, this. no, no, no. This stop this, guys. Stop, stop this. Wow. Uh, I play JJ. JJ is a close friend to AY and to Casey. Apparently, they, they have a bad history of going back there. Uh, back in um, on campus days you know with the school together and then AY is the one who's fortunate to have made it big in Lagos so right now we're just freeloading in AY's apartment and then uh, my character precisely is I don't want to use the word Yahoo Yahoo guy I think he's an internet expert with years of encyclopedic internet research yes that's my character so he's always online trying to you know get a um, not magas, let's just say, trying to get other people to donate funds to his life. Yes. <laughs> now you are about to benefit from the benevolence of my internet encyclopedic research experience. Preach on, brother. See this. <laughs> Look at this. The script was written in a way uh, that uh, it doesn't even favor his character so that people don't get a negative message and want to be a JJ outside the crib. Now, bearing in mind that we have five major characters uh, in AY's crib. There's AY, who is the landlord, who is the house owner. And then there's Casey, and then there's, there's JJ, and then there's Osh Baby, and then there's Mimi. Uh, Casey is cool. Once in a while, you want to pity Casey. And at some other point, because he's always complaining about the government, you want to quickly remind him that the government is not his problem. And between Casey and Mimi, she is like, you know, a tiger, and Casey's like a mouse. So anytime she's around, he finds his little corner and just, you know, disappears. Um, my relationship with Casey um, is an interesting one, as Mimi. Um, I don't really think too highly of him on set because um, Casey is somebody who is looking for work. He's graduated with really high, you know, scoring degree. 
but he's kind of like freeloading on my boyfriend's house. Arch is the mad one. Arch is the reflection of uh, the worry empire. And Arch, wonderful character. I mean, Arch is like the comic relief on if you see us, you just, just expect to laugh. Mommy, you too much sure for the job, I beg. Mm. Sure. That's what I'm born for, my son. Mm. I'm talented cook and dishwasher. We're not the look for this machine. We do the look for now small girls. We'll be say if a guy wants to say, hello, get me my tea, she go run. Tway, tway, tway. Or get me my shirt, she go run. You too, you too, Marshall. No. I need the job. You, the job not need you. What do you do for you? I'm going to find you small thing, give you, so that everything goes square. Eh? If you don't the beg, the beg, the beg now. I'm not going to want the one who will come go employ you now. City people will come carry on tomorrow. Hey, why comedian employ a generational woman to cook and clean? What a word, a wickedness. No. Well, like I said uh, earlier on, I find myself lucky to be a part of this wonderful production and the directors are very creative innovative they listen you know it's not just being the director See, when you listen you help your artist or actor or actress whatever bring out the magic if you know in them which makes the work superb so i'd say i for one i'm lucky to be you know the list of this gurus basically I don't understand everything that happens on set because um, as I'm sure some of you know, I'm very new to this, but like they can figure out some scientific, interesting, cool stuff that um, has a lot to do with the whole creative element in, in this production. So I, I think they definitely went in the right direction. I didn't always understand, but I, it was always explained to me very nicely you know, so they're, they're the bomb. I wouldn't change them for the world. And I know that in any other production that I do, they, I, they will be a group of people I always remember. I don't, I don't know if anyone can top them right now. I'm not going to say because I'm close to AY or anything, but I'm going to say it because I've studied and everything I know about entertainment, everything I know about production, everything I know about event packaging, this man taught me. So you would see very different things from what he has existing already like from the ay show on tv which i'm a member of or ay live that you see over six thousand eight thousand everywhere we go to different things happen and this same person you understand controls and supervise how the um, performances would go same thing happened in the crib and you find out that there are some directorial approaches that you see it, it cannot just happen to just any director or artistic director you have to have that first hand idea you understand that's serious 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 and professionalism man i give it to him that's a great one i see the project going to the next level i see it changing the face of nigerian tv i mean this is sitcom with a difference it's something that we've never seen in nigeria before it's a must watch beyond the shores of nigeria beyond the shores of africa beyond well you know what I'm saying. You don't even really need to say much. Once you hear about it, you'll be very upset if you miss it. You can't begin to imagine how much I appreciate being on a project like this. I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Richard Ayodeji Mako, a.k.a. A.Y. Boss. Thank you so much for letting me be part of this project. Thank your entire family, for your wonderful wife, who always stopped by to visit us and bring food for us. I would like to thank everybody that contributed to this project, especially Uncle AY, who has given me the opportunity to um, step onto a new platform, cast members, and production and artistic directing crew. And that is where I need to give kudos and this must be a very, very special kudos to Mr. Patrick Ovoki, who is a wonderful uh, director, the entire production crew, uh, Darlington Abuda. If my wife is watching, I want to say thank you to you, baby, for making this possible. Everybody has been really wonderful working with you guys. Haven Home, we appreciate your house. The crib is AY's crib, but I tell you, built by Haven Homes. God bless you again. See you guys in season two. Season two. Thank you. One love. There's always something you can laugh about yeah. But the kind of speed you can do without yeah. It's not a good time to walk about yeah.